let me tell you that when it comes to knowing, to always hearing from God, nobody is at a point where you can hear everything 100% from God. And even if you can see the likes of David at the time when he committed that sin with Bathsheba, it was not a revelation or he had a voice, a conviction from God that he has sinned. It was after the prophet Nathan went to him and made him to be aware. That it was when he said, oh, I have sinned. He began apologizing. Had it not been the prophet Nathan, possibly he would have just so punishment and thinking that he's been cursed because of the Lord is forsaking him. But it was all because God wanted to talk to him and he had to use the prophet. He could not. He didn't. I, God only God knows why he could not talk to him directly. And let me tell you, it's likewise. They want to tell you something, but you find that something has been hidden from you. There is something that you're supposed to know, but they don't want you to know. But in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, everything shall be clear unto your ears from this point onwards. You shall get ready. The enemy, one of the tricks is to make sure you don't know something so that you don't partake from your rights in Christ. And some people at the end of the day, some they are poor and you don't want to accept the riches because in their own understanding, you cannot pray for wealth. God is not for wealth. But someone who reads the scripture and understands and someone gives a revelation, they are able to say, this is my right. God want, It's God's will for me to be healed. It's God's will for me to have a good health. Blah, 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 blah. So the enemy tries harder to keep you bondage or else you know your eyes will be opened and you will do something about it and you make it. But I say in Jesus' mighty name, everything that is hidden from you shall come into light from this point onwards. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. I'm Ishmael and see you next time.